The fishermen are talkative. They seem pleased to have guests to bring home. As the team approach the island, they are amazed at the sight which greets them. This community of 120 men, women, and children all live on an island built completely of conch shells. They literally live on their harvest. The odd-looking strangers are not a welcome sight for everyone. By North American standards, the poverty of the village is unbelievable. This tiny community lives entirely by the sea. People who live here were originally from the southern tip of Haiti. The idea to build the reef up using conch shells originated from three brothers from whom the islanders are descended. And it gives the island its unofficial name, Trois Frères, or Three Brothers. They farm the conchs, which are so plentiful in the shallows surrounding the island. They eat some of the meat and trade the rest for the basics they need to survive, and use the discarded shells to build up the reef and support their fragile homes. They handle their tools with confidence, born from practice. People who live here seem to find the economic and social aspects of the Conch Island preferable to living on mainland Haiti. The heaps of shells give the place a moonscape quality. Nothing green grows here, and yet, here these people live and work in a close-knit community. And amidst the constant bone-dry clatter of conch shells rings the sound of laughter and playing of children. One gets the feeling that visitors are not a usual event. <laughs> the leader of the village answers Jean-Claude's questions about the Mary Celeste. He provides the team with some idea of the underwater geography of the conch shell island, but as for a wreck, he and his people know of no such thing. His people know every inch of the local seabed, so this news is disappointing. No. He does mention an old anchor which lies in the shallows, but he doesn't know where it came from. This would be an obvious place to start. <laughs> Headed back to the boat, they are spellbound by the way of life here on the island and feel almost as if they've been engulfed by the Mary Celeste mystery itself.